Hello all, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to give you another groovy example. And today we see how to run EPM Autobate script without installing into local system. So many of time your client, the client is not comfortable installing EPM Automate into the local file system due to security reason. They want to run EPM Automate remaining on the server side. So it is doable, it is possible. Let's take one simple example today for EPM Automate. And in subsequent classes, I'll be talking about EPM Automate more advanced scenarios. We'll also see how to integrate EPM Automate with WhatsApp API in our subsequent session. So let's get started. The EPM Automate detailing you can see in Oracle documentation. When you go open Oracle EPM Automate uh, document, there you can see in the introduction itself, it is given over here. Server side execution of EPM Automate. Some EPM Automate command, some, not all, can directly be run on your uh, EPM instance, right? So as you create a business rule, you can create a groovy business rule and render EPM Automate command. Not all command can be run. Only few of them can be run. Okay. So the list of the command which you can see over here, server, server side EPM Automate and supported commands. So when you're writing an EPM Automate script, make sure you are not using any one of this command uh, as part of your executing server-side EPM Automate script. So with this, let's get started. So let me create one simple scenario of EPM Automate. I'm going to create new rule. This would be groovy. So let me name this as rule EPM 8 p.m. test, I already have it, so let me give it name called EPM test 1. EPM test 1 or test 2. Okay. So step first, we need to create an EPM automate object module. Let me turn it to a edit mode. It is in designer mode by default. Edit script mode and make sure you select script type as Groovy scripts. First, we need to create EPM Automate object reference. So, let us create EPM Automate Automate object reference. Now, make sure did I select Groovy? Yes, I select Groovy. EPM Automate. Let's give any name. EPM OBJ. EPM object. And this object is point to point to get EPM automate get EPM automate so this is how it's going to create an object reference for EPM automate let us create an object reference for the status as well so every time I execute any command I should know uh, the, the outcome the return value of my EPM automate command so EPM automate status uh, EPM status I create another object called EPM status okay. so the first job I'm going to execute uh, let us step first let us log into the application so in order to log into the application you should know you should know username password and the URL so I don't want to reveal my password to the user therefore um, I'm going to encrypt my password. Okay. So let us encrypt password. In order to encrypt password, you use encrypt command. All the functions, syntax are available over here. Let's see what argument does it take. Okay, encrypt password. Here I can see command reference. So we have a command at a glance. Encrypt password. Yes. So all the command definition you can see it from here. It takes three argument, uh, password and the key. The same argument we are going to pass over here. I use EPM Automate. I create object reference then uh, EPM Automate. Dot execute the object reference is EPM object 
डॉट ऑटोमेट ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट एग्जीक्यूट करेक्शन and define your all parameters so in order to perform encryption the first argument is encrypt type of command second is password so whatever password you have third argument is encrypt key encrypt key and where you going to store this encrypt key so i'm going to give a encrypt key and the password file so i'm going to give password file password file password got encrypted let us say that check the encryption is done successfully or not so i can apply if if condition and the object reference or epm status dot get status check the status of it If it is not equal to zero, not equal to zero, it entails it is failed to execute. So when it returns zero, it returns zero means successfully executed. In Talon, I will display this message. You can see this in a log file. Encrypt pass or fail. Encrypt fail. Else, encrypt successful. So once password got encrypted, the next time we are going to create, uh, we are going to log in it. So let's create another object: EPM automate status. EPM login and uh, object reference EPM object dot execute and in order to login I need first argument is login type of command second name is username so I in my case I'm using username called application maintenance app maintenance. and then password password as a password file so my password file name is pwd.epw then after password file i give url i'm going to connect into the same instance let's copy this url so now let's check whether again i apply if condition and check if encryption is done successfully or not so i can copy paste if uh, epm login dot get status if it is not equal to zero if it is not equal to zero it means login fail else login pass else uh, print state will login successful that's it let's quickly review first i create epm automate object get epm automate then we create epm automate status we encrypt the password click the password status then execute login command the username the password file and the url and then we check the login status okay let us validate now save and validate okay validation is passed let's deploy and test it so this is not a com very complex script it is just going to validate your password is getting encrypted or not and your login is done successfully or not deployment is done now i can test it i can run it right away from here click on launch 
Let me check the status of the file, status of a log file. Log, so launch is done, no syntax error. Let us go to application, job, status. This is done successfully executed 11 seconds before. So there is no technical error. And let's look at the log file. So log encryption done and login done successfully. Basic script, basic script and this is the output, right? Quickly recapitulate, we create EPM automate object and then we create EPM object, EPM automate status object. Uh, the first by EPM object, object name dot execute i can execute any command the first command is encrypt the argument you can see from oracle documentation what all four argument has so we log encrypted the password and i check the status of it the get status function returns zero if it is successful if it is written other than zero there are multiple multiple codes okay so codes also you can check over here that is called exit code so this code exit codes also you can check over here what does one, two, three means? I put not equal to zero, which is, it's like fail. So encryption fail, uh, encrypt fail, uh, or successful. In this case, it is successful in our case. Okay. So it is successful. And then I create another object, login CMD, the name of my EPM automate status object. And this executes a login, login username, password, and the URL. Login also successful. And then finally log out. So that's it, the basic script. Uh, this is just a getting started. In next example, I show you how to automate uh, your EPM automate cloning activity, how you can clone your entire instance through server-side script and how to integrate EPM automate with WhatsApp API. It is possible. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Should you have any question, please feel free to reach out to bspsolution.com.